That's crazy, man. Super 
close to answer all your midnight calls how come i don't exist to you before the sun goes down i'm tired of waiting for your calls when mine get no response at all We've had like kind of cloudy rainy days the past couple of days, and like it's it's been like relatively cool. Like it doesn't almost feel like Italy, but now the sun's back out. We're like yeah. We just got back from a little morning out. We got some coffee and some pastries, and then wandered around the market a bit. But yeah, it was so hot. We just decided to come back before our train later. Got this tote bag. I literally have a obsession with buying tote bags, and this one was quite sweet. So I thought I'd get it just as a little memorabilia of this trip. Also, I got this wee. I don't know what you call it, but it's <laughs> it's nice. It's like got lemons on it. It's kind of like call me by your name. Italy vibes, like Italian, like pottery. But yeah, I really like it and the lady there was super nice as well. Yesterday we went to Venice, which was super lovely. Um, obviously very busy and um, crowded, but yeah, it's such a beautiful like city. I feel like that goes without saying. Kind of like mind boggling the fact that there's no cars and like the roads are like rivers but yeah so that was really nice it was quite a tiring day so like i didn't film much but yeah we're just gonna see how today goes we're going to back to lake garda we went a couple of nights ago and that was lovely it's so beautiful there we're just gonna have a little explore we're having a wee boat tour later might do some swimming that's why i put my costume on and yeah i wish the best for you Okay, so long story short, we're back in Verona because like Garda was not it today. We tried. We got like several buses and like shuttles and it was just stressful and crowded. So yeah, we were gonna do like a boat tour, but we just decided to come home early. Anyway, we just got back and we're just gonna go get bagels to make ourselves feel better. Because there's a um, bagel place like just around the corner from where we're staying and it looks good, so. You wanna sit? Nope. Okay, so I'm just sat by the road um, in Triviglu. Angus is not joining me. Today we are going to Crema. How do you feel about that, Angus? I know nothing. Anyway, we are going to Crema, which is where Call Me By Your Name was filmed, if anyone didn't already know. Um, we figured we might as well go because we're staying relatively close to it. Although we had to do a change over here and we missed the train, so here we are. I'll keep you updated, but that's the update so far. Also, it's our last full day. Very sad. How do you feel about it being your last day, Angus, in you're Italy? What, is, what did you say? I don't, you're not going to include this. I'm going to include this. How do you feel? I think I got COVID. <laughs> wow, that's that though. So we made 
Swedish Kreml. Safe and sound. We went to the tourist office and they actually have like, it's pretty much all themed around Call Me By Your Name. So we got these wee leaflets and I got a couple of postcards like as well. Places where the Yeah, it, was it gives you like a map and everything. It was really helpful. We met some Americans as well. We met someone from New York, which was cool. Anyway, we are just walking. Everyone's riding around those rental bikes. I know, literally. Sorry, sold out today. <laughs> anyway, so we're just gonna make it work by walking there. It's like an hour walk, but we can do it. Right, let's go. So, update. We may have just sort of, sort of hitchhiked with someone. We're just walking along the road and this lady like pulls up in her car. She couldn't speak English, so that was a bit that was a bit of a barrier. Dude. Yeah, we like got a Google Translate and she was like, oh, I'll, I'll drive you along because she could kind of tell we were going to see the lake and stuff. So she drove us along. She gave us like two free bottles of water. So yeah, she didn't speak like English, but she spoke like French. So I was speaking to her a bit in French and it was a bit tricky communicating with her, but she was really nice. I mean, we were kind of scared getting into a car with a complete stranger, but yeah. she was lovely but anyway that's our update we're glad to be in one piece and i think we're just coming right up to the lake now she also drew me this wee map wait let me show you she drew me this wee map <laughs> like where we can go and stuff anyway here we are now but yeah